These are deviled eggs. Your grandmother's recipe just went viral. And here's how you make them. A big thanks to Cheddar Chef for sponsoring this episode. Of course, you'll be needing some eggs. Usually we throw them. I really don't want to throw anything. Besides, a chicken worked hard to make this. Of course, the first thing that we're going to do is boil these eggs. And since we're a barbecue channel, we're cooking them on our wood fire grill, the Cheddar Chef Boma. I already fired it up by making some kindle, stacking it up, putting in a couple of fire starters, lighting it up, and let that fire build up. Then I'm switching to a hardwood to make sure that I have plenty of embers and I get a nice hot fire. I put on my cast iron Dutch oven pan with some water and let it come up to a boil. Now I assume you know how to boil eggs. So we're gonna put some eggs in, boil them until they're hard boiled eggs. Once boiled, I'm gonna put the eggs in an ice bath, let them cool down and then peel them. Then you gotta take all of the egg yolks out, just pop them open, there we go. And we're gonna keep the egg whites. That's very important. You gotta keep them whole because we need them later on. Now the egg yolks are gonna go into a bag. Of course, we're gonna do that for all our eggs. And here comes my big trick. We're gonna be smoking the deviled eggs and therefore I'm gonna use my cast iron Dutch oven pan. Now I'm gonna turn this into my smoker. And therefore I'm gonna need some embers out of my fire. A nice red glowing hot ember, which I'm gonna place on the side of my Dutch oven. You can see this is red glowing. And now we're going to use this to create smoke. So I'm adding a few wood chips, whiskey barrel wood chips. And they will start producing a little bit of smoke because in a closed environment, you don't need too much smoke. Just a light smoke will do the job. Of course, I gotta place in my eggs so they're able to smoke. You wanna make sure you leave enough space for the smoke to flow around freely. And we're getting a beautiful aroma of the smoke. It is like a sweet whiskey and wood smoke flavor. If you do something like this for your guests, it's gonna be truly exceptional. <coughs> Nobody ever did this before, smoking their deviled eggs. So you're gonna be the king of deviled eggs. Your grandma ain't got nothing in you. It's gonna be your mama joke. Yo mama ain't, and then deviled egg something, I don't know. Look at that, we got the smoke, we're capturing the smoke in the pan, and now we're just gonna let it sit there for about 20 minutes so the smoke can connect with the eggs, give off a little bit of flavor, and keep in mind, the eggs are gonna be delicate so they don't need a lot of flavor. A gentle touch of smoke. While we wait for the eggs to be smoked, we're going to make the stuffing. And that's equal amount of boiled egg yolks and mayonnaise. Then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of the Pitmaster X chicken rub. And you can find the recipe of that on our website. And then we're getting to the fresh ingredients because I wanna spice things up with a red chili pepper. Now, of course, if you don't like spiciness, then don't add the red chili pepper. But I think with deviled eggs, it can use a little bit of heat. Just one third of the chili pepper will be more than enough. I'm also gonna chop fine a handful of pickled jalapenos that will bring some acidity and freshen things up as well as make it a little bit more spicy. And the last ingredient is gonna be grated Parmesan cheese. And that's the umami bomb that we're bringing to the party. Now, and to turn this into an egg mix, I'm just gonna take this bag and then start squeezing it. No need to use any tools, just mix it up. And with all the ingredients in a bag, I can easily mix it up, squeeze everything fine to turn this into a delicious stuffing. Now we have our smoked eggs and they turned a little bit of yellow. We don't want these to turn completely brown with smoke because then the smoke flavor will overpower the delicate touch of the egg. Time to fill up our eggs. All we need to do is now squeeze and get that stuffing in there. And I just like to tap it a little bit and then whoop, there it is. Delicious stuff. Now, of course, the deviled eggs might look ready, but they're not ready. They need something. They need the devil's touch. And that's what we're gonna make right now with a little bit of oil that we're gonna heat up in the pan. A star on ease, three cloves, in goes a stick of cinnamon, and two tablespoons of chili flakes, and a clove of garlic and let them infuse into my oil. And I'm not frying this at the highest temperature, I'm just looking for a really slow fry. It's more about infusing the flavors than it is about cooking them. This is literally chickens complaining in the background. I'm sorry. Why is that? I don't know. I'm sorry, I apologize for any chicken disturbance. Now, back to our delicious food. Our chili oil turned nice and dark red. 
infused with flavors. And I'm just gonna drizzle on a little bit of that chili oil on each of the eggs. It is the devil's touch in the deviled eggs. I don't make it too spicy. Personally, I'm a little bit of a freak for some Parmesan cheese. <laughs> so I'm adding a little bit more, but you don't have to. This is just optional. Just a little bit more Parmesan. Boom. And then it's time to taste it. Smoked deviled eggs. Mm. <laughs> that is good. Mm. I put loads of spicy things in, but it's not overpowering spicy. You got a whole lot of egg. You need to fill it up with flavor. And traditionally in the Netherlands, we do that with curry powder. But now it just has a whole lot of flavor to it. It's really interesting. You got a little bit of barbecue, whiskey, smoked oak barrel thing going on. And then with the jalapenos freshening things up, it just makes it taste so much better. Well, you know it, guys. The recipe's on the website, so go check it out.